Hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl, Stephanie, a.k.a. E.B. Nihas to Sapapa. And I'm here to do the monthly readings for May. I'm currently on the sign of Sagittarius, so let's get into it. Divine forces of unconditional love is the highest microcosm. What does the sign of Sagittarius need to know for the highest good? What does the sign of Sagittarius need to know for their highest good for the month of May? Please give clear and accurate messages for the collective of Sagittarius. A few more, sh more shuffles here. You know, and as you all may know, these readings are general, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay. Take charge with authority. Feel loved and comforted. Spring. See your seeds grow. And drum. Dream and journey. Overall energy is traitor. Exchange energy to create abundance. So, um, I think in the month of May, uh, Sagittarius, you guys are going to be really exploring your gifts, perhaps taking your gifts and your ta talents to the next level. I wanted to make sure it was recording. The video was still recording. But as soon as this level, you guys are going to be, again, you know, taking your gifts to the next uh, level. You're going to be nourishing your gifts in the month of uh, May. And you're going to, you know, see some growth going. Um, you, or you're going to be, you know, you're going to get creative in how you share your gifts with the world. And um, maybe, you know, figuring out new innovative ways of how to, you know, make money off of your, your uh, gifts. And... You know, beginning to truly enjoy the journey, you know, and watching your dream come true here with the drum card. So you could be into music. Um, you know, singer, producer with the drum card here. Um, could play the drums. Who knows? But, you know, Spirit is asking you not to be defensive with your goals. Don't be defensive defensive with your gifts. Don't allow anyone to uh, make you feel less than. Believe in yourself. Nurture yourself. Nurture your gifts. Plant those seeds of confidence within yourself. Uh, and surrender to prayer. You know, surrender to... Um, Asking spirit to guide you, to give you discernment, you know, no place like home. Truly being, again, um, confident in your gifts. Your gifts are like home, your talents, those things that make you, that bring you joy. Um, and truly tapping into that and expressing that wholeheartedly. No longer allowing other people's opinion to make you doubt yourself and the genius that is you. The genius of the gift that God, Source, Creator, Krishna, whoever you believe in, put in you, you know? Your destiny is calling. Yes. Oh, beautiful energy, Sagittarius. You guys are like, you know what? I am done. I'm, t I'm no longer, you know, going to hold myself back. Or allow anyone else to hold me back. 
wonderful very strong energy here Sagittarius of you just taking control over your life yes ooh and taking those steps that you need wow okay really be beautiful mature energy I'm seeing here for you Sagittarius Ugh. drop the card ready to go here we go Yeah, so some things that held you back in the past, no longer. No longer. Wow, overall energy, the Ten of Cups. That's that ultimate happiness uh, within yourself, um, within your family, within just the things that you love you know so overall energy again is to trade or exchange of energy to create abundance and then we have here surrender to prayer give yourself over completely to prayer when you pray from your heart you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive um and no place like home sagittarius you guys are naturally spiritual people and maybe where you feel at home is you know kind of in the spirit realm or that is where what spirit is uh god source universe you know the divine is calling you to um re-engage in you know maybe at one point in your life you were very spiritual but then life happened and you know things changed you got busy you know maybe created a family or whatever and it kind of threw you off of your spiritual path, which in a way may have affected your gift um, and your talents and you truly living your life in the way that you truly feel you should live your life in your heart, you know, your destiny, your life purpose, you know. But Spirit is saying here uh, with the first week of uh, April, I'm sorry, first week of May, let me see here. So I don't know if you can see the cards here, but I have like um, four rows of cards here. Um, and so that's, you know, each week of May is how I'm reading this. So you can take it in that way or you could, um, you know, just look at it as a whole overall message, you know, however it resonates with you. But uh, I'm going to read it as, you know, weekly. So first week of May, we have take charge with authority. So you're going to uh, begin to be very diligent about how you share your energy, who you share your energy with and how you share it um, so, so that you can surrender defensiveness. You're moving into the energy of trusting Spirit, as it does say here, surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to, to prayer. And when you pray from your heart, know that you will be supported and that answers will, will, will arrive. So you're tapping into that energy the first week of May or of May. Um, Spirit wants you to tap into that energy of taking charge with authority, knowing that you are covered, knowing that you are taken care of allowing you to surrender defensiveness and, and to live fully within you, your your full power defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate in a more empowered way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a clear non-defensive response you know so maybe there is a situation in which you know it's time for you to leave a situation that you know that you're just tired of going around and round because we have the round and round card here. You know, you're no longer in the energy of trying to make excuses for someone who doesn't perhaps appreciate you, who don't appreciate your energy, don't appreciate your talents, doesn't make you feel like you are 
uh, good enough or worthy enough. They don't, perhaps they don't support you uh, mentally, spiritually, or physically. And you're, you've probably been, you know, you know, pleading with them over and over, like, this is what I want. This is what I need. This is what I want. This is what I need. But this person isn't able to give you that. And so now you're in the energy of taking charge, you know, with authority and surrendering defensiveness, accepting that person for who they are and where they are in their life and deciding perhaps that you, you're, you're, you're ready to kind of move on with your life. What? So we have here, when it comes to the tarot, supporting that, the Ten of Swords, like I said, an ending, you know, ending to um, mental um, distraught and conflict, you know. This is the card that comes um, after the Dark Night of the Soul, the Nine of Swords, which is all about anxiety and nightmares, not being able to sleep, you know, um, those inner thoughts of perhaps uh, self-defeat and then other, you know, the words of other people, maybe loved ones that, you know, told you or made you feel like you weren't good enough. You're putting an end to that, you know, and you're wanting to because, you know, the 10 reduces to a one and the uh, one is the ace and the ace of swords is, you know, truth, triumph, power, overcoming. And so now you're like, you know, you're surrendering defensiveness with this 10 of ten of um, swords stepping into your emperor energy the emperor is you know the king of key kings again most definitely in line with this take charge with authority card that's what are you doing you're you're, you're you said you know what i'm tired of fighting i'm tired of you know of um of battling with you i'm telling you I'm, i've told you what i wanted and you know what? I'm just in the, in the energy right now where I'm just going to take what I'm going to take what I need, whether that is me taking a leave, or, you know, or um, just demanding and taking nothing but, you know, action. Show me that you are listening to me. Show me that you are taking me seriously, my needs and my wants seriously, you know. And then we have the King of Pentacles, which again um, correlates for me to the Lord here, taking charge with authority. That's what the King of Pentacles um, is. And for me, it's funny that we have the Emperor and the King come out right next to each other because I truly do feel like the King of Pentacles can shape shift, you know, into the King, of, um, into the Emperor. And of course, the Emperor is the King of Kings, you know, so he can most definitely shape shift into whatever energy that he needs to be in but he is the ultimate authority so truly taking uh back your power because you received a message here with the knight of swords the knight of swords could be a message coming in um it could be an argument as well and you know you're you're not in this energy of arguing anymore you're tired of fighting you've said what you said <laughs> i said what i said and if this person is not um, taking heed to that. You, you know, we have the Two of Wands energy. And you can think of the Two of Wands, you know, two poles, and you can see, think of the, you know, going through those poles as a gateway of ascending. You're ready to, to walk away, you know, and to send to the next level. If this person is not ready to grow with you, then they're going to be left behind. But if they are willing to, and ready to grow with you, they got to show some action and show, um, you know, show their worth. And again, this could be vice versa. So, um, but you're most definitely wanting to, wanting and ready to ascend, you know, um, most definitely spiritually. And as you grow and mature spiritually, of course, your gifts are just going to be more fine tuned because you're in tune with spirit, the source of your gifts. And so... They're just going to multiply and, and, you know, because it's time for you to answer the call. That's what the judgment card is. It's time for you to answer the call on your life. Answer, you know, live your life within, you know, your purpose, your life purpose. So second week of, um, of May, you're going to be in the energy of, of loving yourself, nurturing yourself. You know, we have the Lord. 
uh, here and then we have mother earth i feel like these two cards you know most definitely represent earth energy and could be counterparts as well so you know you could be you know going towards someone that is this energy that is nurturing and loving that will comfort you that helps to bring out the best in you you know and surrendering the idea that you can fix someone um, when it in regards to this other person so again so this mother earth energy could be you nurturing yourself and just releasing this other person you know releasing that surrendering the idea that you can fix someone and that's going to put you in the energy of treasure island you know you really being able to you know that when you drop that burden of this ten of swords that's just you know this mental conflict um, and burden and pain and just heaviness depression you know once you you know see that for what it is and you say you know surrender to prayer and take your energy seriously and the people that you know um, that come into your your space that their energy has to be right because you're, you're in the place space of peace right now you know no place like home you're finding that peace within and so you're not going to allow anyone outside of you to come jeopardize that so uh the tarot and um clarifying the second week of may we have the justice card you are ready to receive justice you're tired you you put in the work and if this person is not willing to see then you're ready to move forward. You've put in the work, you said what you wanted to say, and you're you're cutting you're cutting it loose, you know? Because you're tired of being in this five of source energy, you know, this uh conflict, mental conflict energy. You're tired of that. And you're ready to to be into, you know, your happiness. Like I said, with the treasure island, the sun card, your overall energy is the ten of cups. you you are going towards your ten of cups hill or high water so if anybody's in your way they best to move out the way because you're gonna you about to run over the ass or their feelings gonna get hurt <laughs> you know because you are um in the energy of your happiness wow beautiful the energy of emotional intelligence no longer um allowing other people's bullshit to get you down or to make you think less of yourself overcoming this deception energy and you're no longer deceiving yourself you know with the world card this is the card of completion about learning the lesson and ascending to the next level again just like with the two of wands energy so that takes us into the third week of may which okay you're in this new energy and now and you've planted those seeds within mother earth right of loving yourself and now the third week of may you're going to be seeing those seeds grow so see your seeds grow you know you're surrendering your desire to control people you know you can tell them how you want to be treated and such but it's, at the end of the day it's up to them to respect and love you enough to you know hear you and to make the necessary changes but it says here being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals back off regroup and give the situation some re breathing room and then we have here TikTok. so it's time for you to just kind of step back from the situation give it some breathing room you know maybe it'll come back around maybe not but in you um taking this time out to give give um things to breathe in room you're seeing your seeds grow you know and we have the page of pentacles the page of pentacles is about you know um seeing the potential the beautiful potential into something and 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 um in something you know i also see the page of pentacles as a seed you know and then we did have the spring card here see so your seeds grow so you're planting a new seed of you know releasing you know um surrendering the idea that you can fix someone um let me read that here it says it's time for a relationship to shift it doesn't work to try to fix someone each person must be accountable for his or her own healing exactly so this person you may feel sorry for them and that's the reason why you've been with them you you feel like if you know without you in their in their life they're gonna fall apart but that's not your job <laughs> you know you need to surrender them 
and yourself to prayer, you know, be very mindful of your energy exchange because, you know, that is how you create abundance, you know, here with the trader card. It says exchange energy to create abundance. Underneath that, we have the Father Sky, trust in the unknown. You may be afraid to take this leap of faith and to, to perhaps leave this person or walk away from this person. But, you know, it's time for you to, to create. You need to feel at home within yourself. Um, and imagine how you just imagine how beautiful life can be. Blessed. Underneath that is the thinker card, you know. So it's going to be, you know, it may be tough. Um, but you, you need to get to a place of finding, again, that inner peace. And it's so funny that, you know, the last week of May, we have here the Surrender to Inner Peace card. Um, but let's get back to this third week of May. Planting the seeds of loving yourself um, and truly seeing what your purpose is, truly de being uh, applying discernment, you know, with the people in your life, seeing what type of energy exchange they're giving you. If it's an energy of abundance, of promoting you, of supporting you and helping you move forward, um, you know, returning that same energy that you am that you invest in them. Hopefully you're, you, you're doing what you're supposed to do as well. And deciding whether you want to move forward or not. Because time is ticking. You, your life is moving, you know. Um, and you don't have, we just don't have time to waste anymore. You know, we need to focus on what we want to see grow. We need to invest in um, what's going to, to bring about a harvest. So again, planting that seed here. Um, to overcome this indecision or, you know, this could be a message, you know, from the seeds that you've planted, but seeing, I guess maybe this could be maybe not seeing the potential in a situation as there's something hidden or something that has been hidden has been revealed And you're standing your ground here. And, and whatever it is that you know you want to see manifest, you're standing your ground. And you're healing here with the four, the four swords card. This is about healing, about rest and recovery from, you know, maybe this energy of trying to control people and and make them do the things that you want them to do, you know? Again, taking matters into your own hands here with the Queen of Wands energy, which is fire energy, which is your energy, Sagittarius. Taking matters into your own hands. So this could be, you know, in a relationship, this could be, you know, maybe on, you know, what, uh, when it comes to, you know, your work and career and people that you work with that you may have to you may cut off or, um, friendship it could be family you know it could be a romantic relationship just take the messages however they resonate with you um, and if it doesn't resonate remember this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everyone but you know I truly feel like this is that this is you cutting off um, a relationship or a situation tick time the time has ran out on it You've given it all that you have. You're tired of being in this energy of indecision. Um, you're tired of feeling like there's an illusion going on. Um, and you're just ready to move forward, you know, and towards your dreams here with the drum card. It's a dream and journey, you know. Surrender to inner peace and... Um, moving and going after what it is that you truly want it says cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily and then we have here the fates you know this is fated for you to perhaps to to leave this situation um whomever it is because 
that is where this is the energy of where you're going to find your ten of cups your happiness and then below that we have the strength card you are strong enough to do this yes it's going to be painful with the uh three of swords card here but that painful energy is going to bring about you know uh truth and a clarity you know showing you that that energy that relationship you were in perhaps was a toxic relationship a codependent relationship that you know brought about a lot of drama but this is you know new information coming in you're moving forward and moving on past this energy of abandonment or feeling guilty of being of, of abandonment you're overcoming that energy and you're you know tapping into the energy of truth your own your again your inner peace your inner truth what it is being true to yourself and in doing so you're going to break that generational curse perhaps of again codependency um or just toxicity breaking that curse of toxicity and beginning to build a generational legacy exactly with the three of pentacles building that uh, building your dream overcoming that negative energy again the uh, overall energy for your reading is the ten of motherfucking cups you hear me ultimate happiness the second happiest card in the deck second to the sun card and you had the sun card out somewhere here First one, yeah, there we go. Second week. But um, again, third week of uh, May, you may have decided to leave a situation and now you're kind of have that, that weight off of you and now you can dream and truly move um, into a space of peace. Um, you know, moving to the energy of uh, calmer waters here with the page of cups look at that awesome so this is the message of love this is maybe an unexpected blessing coming in as we did have the blessed card i remember seeing that unexpected blessing coming in because you've taken matters into your own hands and you are the magician you are manifesting you know um with this newfound love that you've had that you have you're manifesting um what it is that you want you know you're manifesting you know perhaps that commitment that you want um here with the hierophant card taking that leap of faith beautiful into your destiny which is, again is moving you from um drama to calmer waters the six of swords you know this is by the rites of passage you know um and again what, what you're heading to your ten of cups so um that's your reading sagittarius um very there's some most definitely um decisions i feel that need to be made but they are decisions that is going to um lead you on your journey towards your dream um towards abundance again surrender to prayer um surrender to the inner peace your inner knowledge it's, like i said no place like home and your home is your body and you need to have peace you know within yourself and if people around you are not helping to cultivate that if they're pissing on your fire and telling you it's raining you know it's time for you to take a serious look at what you know what your life is and the people that you have in your life and if this is the way you want to continue to live you know so um like i said hope that helps you guys may not resonate with everyone but i hope um you know of course the entire storyline may not resonate with everyone but i hope that you were able to get some kind of message from um this reading so um if you like what you heard heard and it helped you out please uh donate to the channel the link will be below um if you would like a personal reading please just send um send your email uh, my email will be in the description box below as well just email me let me know that you are interested in the reading and we'll just go from there all right so until next time sagittarius i love you all peace